Hello dear 8th graders, how are you guys? I hope everything is fine with you. Let's talk about our last class, about the ways we can represent the quadratic equations. We have three ways here for real sport, but I will talk a little bit about these, how we work on it, and how we show these problems, okay? Here, the first way, it is the graphic. I think you remember the graph, yes? Oops, let me return here. The graph here, as you can see, is the way we have the U shape it, opens down, op opens up, opens down. We need to be sure about that. The second way, it is the vertex form. I taught you how you look the graph here and get out the vertex form. It's very easy. Just go the vertex here. Where is it? It's negative 1 for X and negative 9 for Y. We easily figure out this one. We know the vertex. After we got the vertex, guys, here, you can write the equation. As you know, it is the opposite inside the parentheses, and it's the same outside. Great. And here, the standard form. We use the vertex form, so for y. Great. And we got the vertex form. And the factored form, we use the standard form and find the factors. Great. Using the sum and product method or any other you are working on it, okay? Let's go here. As you know here, the vertex, the standard, and the factor form is over here. You can work on this. But here, I will solve one to be sure you understand. Here, if you notice this one, the first one here, it is, what is the vertex here, guys? If you get it, it is the opposite inside the parentheses, negative 4. Here is the first one and the other thing outside the parentheses negative eight here is the vertex the first point i'm looking for is negative four for x negative one negative two negative three negative four and negative eight for y one two three four five six seven eight over here oh guys it's so hard this one <laughs> okay I know the vertex is over there. How do I figure out the other points? Guys, first, let's find our, our standard form over here. How we do it? We use the vertex form to find it. So for y, y equals 2 times x plus 4, x plus 4, e squared minus 8 x plus 4 squared, guys, it is x plus 4 times x plus 4, which is the result, 2 times x squared, x squared, plus 8x, 8x, will be 4x and 4x, that's why I'm doing the same thing, 4 times 4 is 16, and don't forget here, negative 8, right now I need to multiply by 2 everything, 2x square plus 16x plus 16x plus 32 minus 8. And after, you subtract 8 over here, 32 minus 8, which is, and this one is 20, 24. Yes, 24. 2x square, 2x square plus 16x plus 24 great I find the standard form when I use this one to find the sum and product the sum must be 16 and the product 24 what do you think mm, oh 24 sorry not this one guys to find 24 here it is easy what I need to do? The first one is, is 1 and 24. 1 and 24. Mm, 1 and 24, the sum will be 25. No. 2 and... Which number times 2? 2 and 12. Yes? 2 and 12. It is the second one. It is 2 and 12. The sum will be 14. No, no, not yet. 3, 3, and 
three and eight. Three and eight. The sun it is. Oh, mister. Sleeping slide first. Oh, yeah, guys. I forgot. That's why you cannot find. You need sleep and slide. Let's do it. Great. Before, do it. Oh, no. Oh, you can find factor first. I think factors is better, guys, than sleep and slide. Let's find the factors here. It's two x square plus 8x 8x plus 2 here 12 now is possible equals 0 great the sun is 8 the product 12 sun is 8 and the product is 12 it is 1 and 12 no 2 and 6 2 and 6 guys it is 2 here already x plus 2 time x plus 6 great here is the factor form okay equals y no equals zero equals y okay here is the factor form and to figure out other points here just guess the neighbors here it's negative 4 it's negative 8 let's pick a neighbor negative 3 negative 3 here negative 3 plus 4 it's 1 1 square is 1 2 times 1 is 2 2 minus 8 it is negative 6 great when is negative 3 it is negative 6 1 7 6 here will be here when is negative 4 and oh sorry negative 3 and negative 5 will be this they are symmetric they have the same solution and negative 2 now negative 2 negative 2 plus 4 2 2 square it's 4 4 times 2 it's 8 8 minus 8 is 0 great when it's negative 2 it's 0 now 0 here negative 2 and the opposite with it with is negative 6 negative 6 here negative 5 negative 6 great right now draw the parabola great guys not be perfect but it's working okay whatever great this is the way to solve this one if you have any question any doubt just email me okay guys bye see you next class